have a strange day because everybody left the house and left me alone, which was good because I needed to do a little, a couple little things here or there with Steve-O's avalanche. I had some stuff to do around the house. Today we're doing door handles. So you see Steve-O's got this black avalanche. It's a 2005. Jeff is his name. And that when we bought it, there were those stick-on chrome overlays that were on the handle. So we tried to peel them off. And of course, we jacked up all of the finish on the factory handles. And they look like shit. Even this one's even worse back here. So we go on, and uh, this one does not have a hole for a key. There's only a key on the driver's side. That's the either or when you're trying to buy these. Some of them have a hole on both sides. Some of them only have a keyhole on one side. This one's a keyhole on one side. Then you have the um, primed and ready for paint handles, which were painted body color. You have gloss black handles, which is what these are. They're not actually painted body color, even though the body color is black. They're gloss black handles. And then you have the textured flat black, and then you have just the flat black. Prices are all over the place. Really expensive to get a set of gloss black handles. So we opted for the smooth finish, flat black, or uh, soft textured, I don't know, whatever you might call it. I'll link it in the description below. It's a, it's a nice handle. Yeah, it's not gonna look as nice as the gloss black, but for a almost 20 year old truck that's had a rough life that we've brought back to life, I think this will be just fine. I'm not even gonna say anything and see if anybody actually notices um, that they're a little different texture. So we're gonna start off on the rear, right rear here. They're marked, right rear. They're all marked. Um, this one's real easy. The rear door panel's real easy. Um, everything should be this easy. Like the headlights are easy in these things. Uh, rear door panels are, are, are really fairly easy. So we'll take you along and we'll get this guy jammed right in there. Okay, so down at the bottom of the door, right here in the corner, is a seven millimeter screw or bolt. It is a ridiculous length, so the uh, Corvus uh, air tools are definitely the way to go. Also, right in here is a little hole, right, where you see my finger going through. There's another 7 millimeter. Again, it's ridiculously long. All right. Once you get those out, a little pry tool, um, and you got to pry this to a handle cover thing out, and it just pops right out like that. It's got a couple of push clips, a little gentle pry, and you will get it out. It's fairly easy. All right. You don't have to undo anything from here the only other thing i like to take out is this because this makes it easier to put it back together correctly but we're going to take this off once we get the panel off itself so now with those two screws out this panel just slides up that's it it's that easy so you just get under it slide it up pull it out and the only thing now connected is your electrical connection right here for your window switch which if you can prop this where it won't fall down and yank on this you don't even have to disconnect that and now you can come in and I'll show you right right here and just you'll see the little the little push-ins and you push it in and pop this guy right out like that and just set him aside. It just makes it easy to put it back together. All right, so we're focused on this corner here. You gotta peel back your, your plastic weather shield um, just a little ways. You need to get in here 
and over here and window has to be up so let me go put that window up all right so now with the window up there are three and i'll show you on the new one all right it's going to go in just like this from the outside there are three 10 millimeter nuts on these studs in this orientation here so the one that's a pain to get to is going to be this one because it's going to be right up in here you can't get a straight run on a ratchet so i just use a little open end um snake your arm up in there it's not not really too bad at all so with a 10 millimeter ratcheting wrench i'm just going to feel up in here for the nut you can look in there and see it if you bend your head down and usually just a couple of turns is all it takes to break it free and you should be able to spin it off by hand. Try not to drop it into the door panel because then you gotta go fishing for it because they do not give you nuts with the new ones. You gotta use your nuts and that's the nut there. It's got a little uh, washer on it. So trying to give you a close up here. You'll see that rusty one. It was rusty on the other side as well. I already did the other side. And then you got your other one right there. Those are the two. Um, hopefully you'll be able to see up in there. That's the uh, third one up there. That's the one I took out first. Um, something about working indoors, not indoors, but in indoor panels is light because no matter how much sun there is outside, you need to have a little light. So these two are easier. So you can put a ratchet on it. It was rusty on the other side also. And there's number three. Now, moving around to the outside, once it's all loose, as you take this, you can move it down, and you can see right here, you have one of those nylon clips that holds it onto the sh shaft for the lock. So a lot of times, yeah, you can just pull it off with your fingers. If not, a little pry screwdriver. Let me get that back in there. So this goes in through the hole, through the nylon hole and the hole in the metal bracket. And then this clips over it to hold it on. So once you release that clip up like that, right, this slides right out and that's your uh, what actually graves when you do the door handle So wh when you're doing the door handle, it's actually pushing the shaft down to release the door Just like that and It's a shame that the, t the finish on these is so so jacked up because they're actually really tight Which you know usually after this long they wear out pretty fast So you could see in the groove here where you really can't clean it gets gunked up, so all I did was spray a little uh, penetrating oil, WD-40, anything like that, and just go in there and clean out whatever scourge is in there. And then go to a clean side, give it another little, little wipe, and then a dry spot. Like that and just clean it out. So now on to the new one. All right? Same holes for the studs. You're gonna grab your your rod from the inside. You're gonna slide it through the hole, and then you're gonna bring this guy down and snap it into place. And it should be a nice tight fit like that. This way you know it's not gonna fall off. And then just slot it in and put the studs through the holes just like that so that we can go on the other side and bolt it in. I'm going to start with my, my rusty one. 
and I am going to spray just a little bit of lube on that rusty one because that tends to rust. So I put a little bit of lube on there. I have one hand on the outside holding the door handle against the body and I'm going to get this one in by hand until it holds the, the door handle snug. And I'll grab my second one which goes up there and I'll drop it in the door. Now I gotta fish it out. Okay. Luckily it was an easy find. Okay, spin that one on. And then I got number three, which just gotta go up and around. And that's a blind one. Not difficult, plenty of room. And there you have it. So now, all we gotta do is tighten them down. They don't go have to go in super tight. Pretty much as tight as, as this. M12 makes it, and then I just give it a little, uh, maybe a sixteenth of a, of a, of a tug on it. And then I'll go in with my ratcheting wrench on the blind one. And I'll drop that in the door too. I'm winning today. And just snug it down. So now what I will do while I'm in here is the springs and the lever that move. When you grab the door handle, I'll spray a little lube on it. I'll also spray just a little lube right here and a little lube right there where those rods ride. Because I got it open, so I might as well. And then we're going to take this splash shield and we're going to put it back as close to where it was as we can get um, we're paying attention to the, like this right here this opening because that's where one of those clips remember how we lifted it up and pulled it out well the clips are going to go in here and then when you push down they grab in here and grab right here so you want to make sure that those openings are good all right and we're good there now we can take our door panel swing it back around all right get it up so I'm about an inch or so you can see this rod right here is supposed to ride in the middle but I'm about an inch or so so we make sure that those clips on the inside of the door are all in and when we know they're all in what we got to do is push down and it's in the right spot and just make sure that the door panel doesn't want to come off anywhere around it and you know those clips are a back end now right here before i put this cover on i'm going to do the same thing while i got it apart just a little maintenance i'm just going to spray a little lube on the hinge point for that door handle we could take our uh, guy here you can see it's got the big one so it's going to go in on the bottom first all right so it slides in on the bottom and then this part and that part pop in and that's in and last but not least is going to be this guy here right that we took out and the reason why is because I want to make sure that this guy goes in the hole that it's supposed to go in and it's much easier to line that up when you're doing it from this side rather than when you're trying to get the door panel on. And there we got it. So now we'll check function of our lock. Unlock, lock. 
unlock, lock. We'll close the door. It's locked. Unlock. And the door opens. And the door closes. And the door opens. That easy. Doesn't look horrible. Doesn't look as good, I think, as the gloss black, but the price was crazy for the gloss black and the shipping was like six weeks. We don't have the time for that. I'm gonna go with these. I don't think anybody's gonna notice. They sort of match the, uh, the texture bottom panel, especially once these start to fade and these get a little coating on them, they'll sort of match a little bit. Eh, good enough. So that's it, real simple. I mean, in reality, it'd probably take 10 minutes to do both rear handles. Front handle's a little bit different because they have an adjustment point for the, the key lock, especially if you just have the key lock on the driver's side, uh, passenger side. We're gonna do them in a separate video because we are going to take the door panels out. We're gonna put new door switches in. We're gonna put new speakers in the door. We're gonna put new door handles and we're gonna put new, um, you know, the pedal adjustment and uh, the seat memory, one of those switches too, because everything is all jacked up and we'll do it on the driver's side in a separate video. This rear door handles, I'll link everything we used in the description below. And as always, thanks for watching.